Because one person is dead now from severe turbulence. So after severe turbulence hit a flight that was going from London to Singapore this morning. The flight's been diverted to Bangkok where several more passengers were reported injuries. This involves Singapore Airlines Flight 321. It was heading from London to Singapore when about halfway through this 13 hour flight, it encountered what is being described by the airline as severe turbulence. And based off of what we have been seeing from some of the different flight records, it made a very quick descent to Bangkok to help take care of the injured. Uh, this is a Boeing 777-300. It's a very large aircraft. 211 people were on board, as well as a crew of 18. Injuries and death after several minutes of terror, more than 30,000 feet in the sky. A Singapore Airlines flight hit with severe turbulence, throwing passengers and crew throughout the cabin 10 hours into the flight. The incident was so rough, lighting and air ventilation tubing fell out of the ceiling. Food trays from breakfast littered across the floor. <laughs> Emergency workers raced to Bangkok's Suwannipum International Airport on Tuesday afternoon <laughs> after the flight turned deadly. Traffic control on the tarmac quick to redirect ambulances and set up makeshift medical tents for injured passengers. Flight SQ321 departed from London and was en route to Singapore, but severe turbulence forced pilots to make an emergency landing in Thailand. A 73-year-old British man, Jeff Kitchen, died on board the flight. At least seven others were in critical condition, with dozens more injured. The plane landed at the airport and the medical team was sent to the scene. Many injuries occurred, so the airport had to issue an emergency plan. All our teams went to help. The airline has launched an investigation into the incident, with the British Embassy also deploying officials to support those in hospital. The passengers left with the question of how this all went so wrong. This video, filmed inside Singapore Airlines Flight 321, shows some passengers being carried off the aircraft on stretchers. You can also see the oxygen masks hanging down from the ceiling and items strewn around the plane. At least one person died and 71 others were injured, six critically, when the plane encountered severe turbulence, according to Samiti Veg Sinakarin Hospital in Bangkok. The plane was forced to make an emergency landing at the Suanapum International Airport. Medical assistance was given on the tarmac to those injured before they were transported to a hospital. CNN creó esta animación que muestra un Boeing 777 experimentando turbulencias similares a las que sufrió el vuelo 321 de Singapur Airlines, según datos de Flight Radar 24. Es necesario señalar que el incidente real duró más de 90 segundos. El SQ-321 atravesó turbulencias extremas mientras volaba de Londres a Singapur, transportando a 211 pasajeros y 18 tripulantes. Andrew Davis, uno de los pasajeros, relató que el vuelo había sido tranquilo hasta el momento del incidente. Muchos estaban desayunando cuando, señala, se desató el infierno a bordo. El vuelo que partió de Londres a las 10.38 pm hora local fue desviado a Bangkok, aterrizando a las 3.45 pm hora local. Lamentablemente, una persona murió y varias resultaron heridas. El director del aeropuerto de Bangkok, Kitipong Kitikachor, informó que algunos pasajeros sufrieron fracturas y otros cortes y contusiones. Um, as soon as the plane settled off, I kind of made, you know, tried to make a joke and a bit light conversation with the, the gentleman next to me, who was also shaken, but there was so much screaming and it was when I, it was actually, I realized the gravity of it when I looked over my shoulder and, and saw um, the, you know, the people sitting behind me with a lady who had a big gash in her head um, and blood pouring down her face. Uh, and then, as we know, a gentleman um, passed away, uh, and that that gentleman was sitting right behind me. Um, the the plane had settled off; it had levelled off. So I got up, and obviously, lots of people needed some help. But we we tended to this gentleman, and and I helped carry him, get him out of the seat, and we lay him on the floor, so that some medical professionals could could uh, administer CPR. Uh, whilst they were doing that, um, which they 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 gave him CPR for at least twenty minutes. Mm. Uh, I, I ran around and just 
got people blankets and cushions and water and did what I could really and, and, and helped. But I guess one thing for me was I was sitting in premium economy. I was in one small part of the cabin and, and I only saw what was happening in the, 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 that small section. I've, I've heard since that some awful things happened in business class and in, in economy class. I heard just as I got to the hotel just now that the, in economy class there were seats coming loose um, and panels coming off the ceiling. The oxygen masks came down. The As I left the airplane, I looked around and it was qu- quite a scene, quite a scene, you know, cuddly and mm. smashed glass on the floor. It was quite horrendous. Um, Andrew, the man behind you uh, who, who who's died, and, and mm. it's just a horrible thing. I know you talk about uh, that you all laid him down and you were trying to give CPR for, for more than 20 minutes. Did, at what point did you realize uh, that that he was dead, and and what goes through your mind at that point? You realize that this is an incident that has killed a person. Mm. It's it's so difficult to say. Um, I mean, it was fairly obvious that he passed. I'm afraid from the moment we we, we got him onto the floor. Um, as I say, they gave good twenty minutes of CPR, and then they they, they pronounced him dead. You know, they 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 covered him with a with a blanket, and the the poor gentleman was. Was on the aisle, in you know, on, on the floor. So from that point onwards, it was to try and preserve as much dignity as possible in in, in those circumstances. Um, the you know when we landed the, the plane, as your news reporter said, you know lots of Thai medics came on board. I'm guessing about twenty or so, kind of swarmed on board and tended to people with lacerations and cut ears. Um, but unfortunately, the poor gentleman, you know, had had at that stage gone, and it was it was obvious for all to see. 